man. That is like, come on, that's a cake. Oh, wow. Look at that stretch. Oh, that's beautiful. That's stretch. Ready? Yep. Let's go. Oh, and there we go. The bunny shower right there. Yeah. Tastes like home. <laughs> So we're finally here. This is how long? How long have you wanted to come here? Six months in the making. Six months, Six months in, the in the making. Woo! Oh my God, we're finally here. The first South Af pure South African restaurant in Dubai. Because I don't think I've seen a South African restaurant. I've seen yeah. uh, restaurants that serve South African food yeah. along with other African food, right? And this is totally authentic. So authentic street South African. food. So what do you have for us over there? What's your name, by the way? Siba. 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 <laughs> All right, Siba. What, 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 do you, what do you have for us over there? Uh, cream soda. Okay. And why cream sodas? It's a very popular drink, actually, with the children. Eh? Oh. So much sugar and energy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One child drinks that. Make sure you're up the whole night. Also, <laughs> it's actually nicknamed the Green Ambulance. Oh, the Green Ambulance. What we would drink it, what we would drink it for is to cure a hangover. That's it. <laughs> so this is green inside. Yes, it's green. Where's the oh. green? Oh, thank you very much. Are there any fruits in this? <laughs> no. Like any kiwi or green? anything like that? Just sugar cane. <laughs> Like shot yeah, it's got that, that cream. So we the, the cream soda that we get over here is brown color, right? Yeah, the American one is brown. Okay. All right, superb. So specialties over here. What do we have? So today we will be trying out a Durban special. A Durban special. The bunny chow. Ooh, bunny chow. And it has nothing to do with <laughs> rabbits, but the reason behind why it's called bunny chow. It'd be yes. great to kind of shed some light so on that. So bunny coming from the word bunnya. This was the cost of the migrant laborers that came from India to South Africa to work in the sugarcane plantations. Mm. So it has absolutely nothing to do with rabbit. Casts, right? Yes. Oh, amazing. Okay, so bunny chow, but we gotta have one more dish as well. So can we pick one more thing? So we could, you know, confidently say, listen, we've eaten South African street food. There we go. And it's gonna be the Wonder Works. The Wonder Works. So it's Ooh. basically oh my goodness. a go pizza look at style bottom. Okay, pizza style bottom. Whoa, all kinds of Steak. protein. Steak. Okay. What's this? And beef bologna. So bologna. beef bologna is basically but like bologna. Bologna, oh. bologna. Exactly okay. like that. Okay. All right, so we're good. The two things that we want are on the same page. What's that? What is this? Spur salad and french fries. Is this mayo? Oh. Like, it's kind of like a mayo, but like a little bit of a spice to it. Salad. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then we'll do the cook sisters when they come. Cook sisters? What is that? So this is the cook sisters? It's, yeah. um, so there's two types. Yeah. Twisted knotted ones is basically just got the glazing over it, yeah. and that's more of an Afrikaans style one. Oh. And then you have ones that look like a little donut yeah. that have coconut over it, mm. and that's more of a cake Malay. Mm. So that has the Malay spices and everything like that. Amazing. So there's two types of cook sisters today. That's Superb. Yeah. And who are awesome. the sisters? <laughs> Where the <laughs> 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 That's like, that's not a, that's a cake. Oh, wow. Oh, How do you slice oh my pizza? God. It's already sliced. It's already sliced. Like a pizza. Oh, wow. And you've got to so plant the flag. This is it. This is, this is all you need to eat for like the next two days, for the whole weekend. The whole right? Weekend. Wow, good one, Lana. Oh, you're just trying to get like some pieces. Are, are they also shaped in the shape of a pizza? Exactly. Oh, they it's are shaped. pizza shaped, but I think I'm cutting through a lot of layers, like a lasagna almost. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, let's get a cross section image oh, here. Oh boy, look wow. at that. Oh man. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> look at that stretch. Oh, that's beautiful. That stretch. There we go. Let's do this. Bismillah. Look at this. You ready? Yep. Let's go. Okay, I got okay. the potato layer. Mm. Oh, yum. That kind of mayo mm. and ketchup and all that fries. And you just bite and that through meat. all the flavors. Mmm, check this out, guys. 
I like the right? spiciness of the sausage too. I so want a magic good. bite with all the flavors. It's oh, not yeah. happening. <laughs> it's not happening. You can, do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Joint cuts You can do it. Do, and then okay, I'm breaking do. the cutlery rule. <laughs> 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 look at me, look at my face. I still got sauce on my face. Is there yeah. cabbage in there? How is that? Easier to eat? Much better. Stay I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna try to do that one that one big, the one big, big bite like that. Bite. You did it! Very good. <laughs> Almost got that on the kandora, but woo! So the poloni is like mm. salami. Mm -hmm. We got shredded meat. Steak. Which is steak. And then we also had Vienna sausages that are sliced. Yes. It's like super comforting. You could. It really is comfort food. It really, it really, really is. really is. I mean, everything that you love, hot dog. I love hot uh, dogs. Pulled, uh, pulled uh, beef. This is beef, right? Mm -hmm. Pulled beef, a ton of fried potatoes, that sauce. You can't go wrong. There's cheese in there as well, obviously, also. Would you ever make this at home? So it's not like I'm making a lasagna and a wonder. No. What no. is it? Wonder? Wonder works. Wonder, wonder works. works. So now, there you go. That's a lot. Easier to eat that way, I see. All right, <laughs> so easy to cut like this with everything. Ooh, everything came off. Mm. I can't imagine there's anybody that wouldn't like this dish. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. How could you not? Is this a historical old no. dish? No, no, this okay. is modern, new, street, modern food. street food. Okay. Modern street food. I love it. But, but hang on, so if you had this on the streets of, uh, of South Africa, on, on any, any, any city, would it be this large? Or no. they have small versions of it? Much smaller versions. Much smaller versions. So how this would typically be served would be in a roll. So like a hot dog roll, oh. where you'd have the pulled meat, the fried chips, the salami, and that's how you'd be able to eat it. Oh, brilliant. So this I is Dubai size. So this is Dubai size. Oh, <laughs> okay, fantastic. Now I, get, now I get the format. So typically on a Saturday before the rugby, you'd have this mid-morning and then go to the game, watch the game, after the game you'd have the bride. I love how in South Africa everything is built around rugby. <laughs> everything. Your life is built around that. Hey, I know that you're also a former professional player as well. Yes. What did you play? Rugby. <laughs> <laughs> rugby. Rugby. Yeah. So, what's your rating on the first mm -hmm. dish that we had? It's Lana. an eight. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. and I think it exceeded my expectations from the menu. It's Before more, you saw it or after you saw it? Oh, from the menu. The, okay, from the picture, it. because it is way more beautiful in real life. It's true, actually. That um, picture in the menu does it no do it justice. justice. I mean, so, look at that. Look I how mean, beautiful that looks. Yeah, I think Amazing. a very well-balanced dish. <laughs> Score for you, and we're Nine and a half out of ten. Nine and a half out of ten. Look at that. Look, just look at these layers right there. And I have to agree as well. I'm giving this a nine and a half out of 10. I mean, again, you, there's nobody that wouldn't love this dish. There's so many great things in there. You know, you know, what, make, you know what makes the dish for me? What is it? Simplicity. Oh. It's every ingredient is a simple ingredient. Yeah. There's nothing fancy about it. Yeah. yeah. It's just a bunch of simple ingredients put together to make this wholesome meal that Superb. just tastes like whole. Superb. All right, let's go to dish number two, which is right here. Oh, and there we go, the bunny chow right there. Ooh, woo. Go for it, Lana. Hummus. Do the honors. So it's very soft and pillowy. Ooh. I expected it to have a little bit of a harder exterior, like a bread bowl when you eat chowder. Oh. But okay. Gotta get a piece of meat. Yeah, I need to. Oh, oh these are big pieces of meat. Okay. Oh, nice. There we go. It's got ginger. Mm -hmm. A bit of pepper. It's really nice. Yeah? It's like a thick gravy as well. Nice. Oh yeah? Tastes like home. <laughs> it's an afterburn. Yeah. It starts... Yeah, oh yeah? yeah, yeah. You get this, a little... This thing kicks in afterwards. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. It starts like a rich gravy and then it burns. And then it burns. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Okay, I guess it's my turn. Grab a nice piece. Over here. Oh yeah, that bread is super soft. This bread has to be fresh for it to be like that, which is amazing. I see there's potatoes in here as well. So oh, I'm gonna get a, a nice piece. Woo! That is big. This is the meat on its own. I'm gonna leave this on the side. I wanna come back to that. But look at that. Just wanna give you guys a very quick let's do this. Big bite. Mm. Oh yeah. There's definitely a kick over there. It's got that spice. You could immediately feel it at the back of your throat. The spices are 
like any nice Indian curry that you would have. I mean, it's exactly the same spices. Ooh, it's picking up on spice. Yep, see, it warms up. Super I don't even nice. know where you would put the green chili. Oh man, I know. <laughs> like for all you that are feeling adventurous, this is for you. But this meat is tender as hell. They've, they've, they've definitely tenderized this. Do they braise it overnight? It feels like no. almost no, goat cooked. curry it that's so, being... No. So nice. I just want to take a piece of potato as well. Get a large piece of potato. And if you want to have the inside, which has been brought out as well. A little piece. This sauce is just super beautiful. And yeah, can't go wrong with that. So you were saying about your, your chilies, because this thing, I mean, this thing looks potent. This is not something that I would be able to do. No. Would you be able to do this? No, no, not me. This is like jalapeno concentrate. Like it is proper. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's basically. It's as green as the, yeah. the drink, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's gonna be super I'm strong. Not touching. No, I'm no, not no, doing I'm that. I'm not brave enough for that. <laughs> this, what do you call That's, this? Um, it's a salad called sandals. So it's basically oh. carrots, tomato, and onion. Then dip. Sambal. Yeah. So I'm assuming that comes from sambal, sambal. right? That's yeah. it. But this is the peasant salad. Every country in the world has this. Yeah, Salad shirazi in Iranian. Exactly. Kachumbari in uh, in Kenya. Exactly. I mean, everybody's got it this. Everyone's got their peasant salad. Salad There you go. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Very happy. What are we scoring this, Lana? So I think I like the comfort of the other one more. Okay. So I'm gonna bump up this oh. one to a nine. Ooh, you bump up. This one an eight. Okay. <laughs> awesome. So, oh my God, my lips are on fire. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I think that's why. I think that's, that's why. why. I need to go back to to my potatoes to cool down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And 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 look, the experience of eating this food is just so nice when you got people, right? There's a different feeling to eating from plates, like in the center, when everybody eating from the same dish. You know, it reminds you of like Moroccan food where people eat together, food over here where you got a big tray and people eat. And there's just something special about that. I think that's definitely adding to our it's scores different. a little bit, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Amazing. And I think it's also just that sense of community, joining together for a meal. Yeah. yeah. Talking over a meal. Yeah. I think that always makes the food taste a whole lot better. 100%. The best way to get people together from anywhere in the world, regardless of their differences, is with food. Really, really nice. I think I'm gonna Fresh. give this a, 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 nine, a nine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> come down a little bit. I just, I really, like this thing is special and I love bunny chow. I've had it in Durban, I've had it in Joburg and I've had it in Cape Town as well. The Durban one is probably the better one. I, I can't remember it, but this did for a second, like you said, take me back to South Africa, which I can't wait to get back to. All right, now back to the food. <laughs> Mashed potatoes. <laughs> I do want to have. I do want to have one more bite. I want to see what it's like on the inside. Okay. Yeah, you gotta get that piece of bread. Yeah, and soak yeah, 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 yeah. I want like this bottom. This is like with anything. You know when you do kebabs and you put it on bread and then that bottom part is all soggy. It's got all the juices. So, so you don't want. Look at that. Sorry guys, I, I like smashed it completely, but. Mmm, that's so good. Yum. See, so if you want to come over here, you want the spicy, you can ask them to do that. Another piece, you and me? Let's do it. You gonna have one too, Lana? Oh yeah. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Thank you. That's oh. it, the word casserole. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah. I see that you're enjoying your food. Eh? We love it, man. It's so good. We love yeah. it. So good. So very obvious. Just look at how full the plate is. <laughs> 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 I'm good, man. I'm you say slim. Very good. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Yeah, somebody has to wheel me out. Yeah. <laughs> Food is super good, but I am now just enough space to have a little bit of sweet. Wow, and look at us, we, we, each ate, we each ate two pieces. There's still two more pieces, so eight pieces of that. All right, let's do this. Sure, yeah. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Should yeah. we go from the lightest to the richest? Yes, okay. uh, they're all rich, so. <laughs> okay. Zalabia? Yeah. It's Zalabia. So, Less crunchy. Wow, yeah. Very similar to the Persian Zalabia. 
or the, the Indian. Or the Indian gulab jamun. Or the, I was gonna say gulab yeah. jamun, exactly. It's just like gulab jamun. I was expecting it to be like a donut, but yeah. gulab jamun, like a long format. Nice. And hey, he was saying there's a lot of sugar. It's, it's not, not that bad. But, but you it, put like a scoop of baking. vanilla ice cream on top of that. <laughs> <laughs> I love okay, it. Let's go with that okay. one now. Let's go down. So this is the Cape Malay cook sister, Cape Malay version of the cook sister. So this one will be more donutty. Oh, this one is cakeier. Oh, look at that. I would say like more crummy. All right. It smells like cinnamon, right? Go for it. Cardamom? Because it's cinnamon and cardamom. Oh, okay. nice. Okay, yeah. so the flavor so profile the Malay, change. the Malay uh, spices. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Oh, it's warm. Cheers. <laughs> oh, it's warm. Mmm. I like it. I love coconut. It tastes like a red hot. You know the candies that are like spicy cinnamon? How good is this? <laughs> so good. I love this one. This would be even better with vanilla ice cream. This is a 10. Whoa. This is a 10. So good. <laughs> Woo, a 10. So, wow. Sunday after church, growing up, there would yeah. be a Muslim lady yeah. who would make these. Yeah. Fried, warm. 9 a.m. she would be outside church selling them. Ooh. Every single Sunday we would buy a dozen. By the time I got home, I'd eaten six. Whoa, I could. So, so wait. this was my. Remind us the Sunday names morning. again. They both called Cook Sisters. Okay. Just different variations. So, so what do I call one, this one? Cape Malay. Cape, Cape Malay. Malay. Cape Malay Cook Sister. That's why we have Ooh. all the different spices. That's why it's different spices. Right. So yummy. That is so good. My and favorite, warm. hands down, my favorite okay. South African dessert. So nice. I love yeah. it. It's so fluffy and just those, and the, that and cinnamon warm. and warm. And chewy. <laughs> all right. Okay. Last one over here. We got okay. our Malva pudding. Looks like a sticky toffee pudding. Something you'd have at like Christmas time around a British table, right? So in South Africa, this is normally our winter dessert. So this. Ooh. So you'd have this. Caramel on it. You can have caramel. What think, is it? I think what they've got what's caramel drizzled on, this on one, it? Yeah. Okay. Wow. And you've got to have it with. This is you've definitely got to have it with something with that custard. requires cutlery. Yes. So go for it. I'm going to make perfect bites for everyone. Amazing. I was going to ask you why you giving us such a good taste. You got to taste the cake. Thank you. This is Paymar. Oh, that one's good too. Oh, look at that. Look that at that. That one's really good. It's so fluffy. You know it's good when you make that face. That's the it's thing. more, you know what it's more like? Um, Flan, like a creme caramel flan. It's thicker. Mm. Yeah. So good. I'm try that custard on its, on its own. Mm. Oh yeah. Basically, has almost zero sugar. Yeah. Yes. Almost zero sugar. It does it have dates in it? It almost feels like it does. Yeah, it does feel like a sticky toffee date date pudding type uh, type thing. I wish I knew about this before. <laughs> mm. That is great. It is wow. so good. This for me is, That's the, is the one. That's the one. That's the 10. That's the one. That's an 11 out of 10 for me. I want it's like so good. Take away, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But, Who's um, going to have the last one? We'll have half. Let's go half because I know you like it. Thank you very much. Because that's so my favorite. Oh. So I thought I'm, this so, was I'm so glad that, that you like this. So it's good. very special, I swear. <laughs> it's really special. I've tried to explain this to Lorna. How many times have I tried to explain it to you? Every time we meet. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so difficult to to explain the taste and the spices that come through. Yeah. The look, the feel, the yeah. texture, everything. And that and whoever thought about just drizzling that coconut on top of it, I mean yeah. it just perfection. And that spicy cinnamon. It. Mm. It's perfect after a rich meal yes. just to have that like just sharp that's cinnamon it. Yes. spicy yes. flavor. This was a phenomenal meal, man. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for bringing us over here, man. Thank I you. really You're appreciate it. Bada, amazing. We finally made it happen. Finally. We finally made it happen. This was like really an amazing meal. This place is in Al Kuz, not hard to find on the map. It's quite close to Sheikh Zayed Road, not like deep into Al Kuz because Al Kuz could get like very busy and things like that. But I don't know a lot of people that know about it. If you don't know about it, you should check it out very quickly. I'll have everything in the description below. Come and have the stuff that we had, and they got a ton of other stuff as well. Fantastic place. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, write us some comments, and say goodbye to the team over here. Peace out. We're out of here. Bye-bye.